Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andrew from AR Media. In tonight's video, I wanna review Thor Ragnarok and 4K UHD Blu-ray. I was super pumped to get this in and give this a watch, so I'm gonna go over the movie briefly, the picture quality, the audio quality, if it's worth the double dip. Let's get to it. So Thor Ragnarok I missed in theater, so I was super pumped to get this in on 4K and give this a watch for the first time. And let me tell you, I was not disappointed. So lately we've been seeing a lot of the comedic side from Marvel with stuff like Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and this definitely follows in those footsteps, and I really enjoy that about the superhero movies. I feel like we're so deep into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and there's so many Marvel movies at this point that they can't take themselves too seriously, and they have to kind of play play in on their jokes and be very self-aware and that's definitely what this movie is so i'm not going to go too much into the plot or anything like that but thor finds himself in a pretty sticky situation stuck on this planet and he has to pretty much fight gladiator style to get off and he definitely runs into some friends and some foes and it's a really funny movie it's very surprising to say that but this had me cracking up it really did. Thor himself is very funny. Loki is very funny. And then there's one special guest that I don't even want to mention by name, but he is hilarious. So anyway, guys, highly recommend the movie for the whole family. I think it was a great popcorn flick to lay back and watch. Great superhero movie that doesn't take itself too seriously. Now let's get to the picture quality. So this is a 2K Digital Intermediate upscale to 4K. And let me tell you, I am surprised by the level of detail that was brought with this upscale. The detail on this screen is impeccable. Where the detail stands out the most is on the outfits, whether it be Loki's leather, whether it be on Thor's stitching, anything like that, you could see a ton of detail. Also the debris and the landscape, you could see a ton of detail on. Now this was shot digitally in 6.5 and 4K, and it definitely shows the image is as sharp as a tack and there is no grain at all or any sort of digital noise. This is a very clear and solid image and you can see every scratch and every scrape on the armor. You can see every single dent on Thor's hammer and every detail you can see in the picture. I don't even need specifics. Now let's get to the HDR, and the HDR does not disappoint either. This is a very bright movie, and it definitely shows, so you get those bright neon colors. It's in the same vein as Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Now, it's not as bright and colorful as Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, but it's right up there. You get those bright neons, you get luscious reds, luscious blues, bright greens, and it looks fantastic. There's actually one rainbow road that Loki and Thor travel on with a ton of different hues in there. They all pop off the screen, and the final act is just a sight to behold. Thor using lightning upon a black sky, any of the explosions towards the end, one fire feature towards the end that will just blow your mind. Really, the HDR pops off the screen. Now let's get to the audio quality. So this has a Dolby Atmos sound mix, and I actually watched this two ways. So I watched this with Dolby Atmos headphones, and let me tell you the overheads weren't impressive, but I can't really rate that because that's with headphones. But I did watch it with my 5.1 system, and let me tell you, it was just seemed a bit low. That's the only thing I wanna say. I had it crank up the volume kinda high, but besides that, not much else to complain about. I'm happy this has an Atmos mix, although on the headphones, I didn't hear too much overhead use, although the 5.1 was very good. Anyway, guys, I wanna hear your thoughts down below. Let me know what you thought of this movie. Let me know if you plan on picking it up. I definitely had a good time with it. I definitely suggest the pickup, and this would be a day one purchase for me. Anyway, guys, let me know down below and I'll see you in the next one.